Hi there. Welcome to part 17 of Wizard 101. So, last we left off, I had to redo the ironworks because the original file got corrupted that had all of the story to it. So, unfortunately, you will not get most of the story in the ironworks video, but you get a bit of a recap from me. So, now we're going to go to what was assigned originally, what we saw in the first video. The one before this, I should say. Talk to Watson at Scotland Yard. Now, I will pause this until we get there, and I will go over things in a moment. So we're gonna get into Newgate Prison. Newgate Prison is pretty short. It takes a few seconds, a few minutes max. Um, so we will also do Knight's Court in this video, so it will be a bit of a longer video. Thank goodness you've come. The O'Leary's are attacking. The O'Leary gang has attacked across the city. I haven't seen it like this since the war. They're up to something terrible, I fear. I must warn you, the gang intends to free Meowiati, a most clever and dangerous thief. His freedom spells disaster for the whole city. Repeat that? <laughs> Did he say shitty? He meant city, obviously, but the accent the voice actor used. <laughs> now, obviously, if you haven't figured it out by now, Sherlock Bones is a play on Sherlock Holmes. Watson is obviously a play on John Watson, the doctor. And Meowyardy is a reference to John Moriarty, or Jim Moriarty. Depends on which version of, uh... Sherlock Holmes you're reading or watching. An old injury prevents me from getting back in the thick of it, but a wizard like you could make the difference. Speak with Officer Ness inside Newgate Prison at once. Okay. In we go. So this is just a lot of running around and talking, honestly. Indeed. Watson thought rightly to send you, what with Newgate Prison under attack and all of that business. What a day! Bless me. But we need your services quite a bit. That bloke Malister has been summoning the undead to fight. All right, there you go. Watson's Another Malister named Malister Malister aims to use the undead to free Miawiari. Better reach Miawiari's cell at the top of the second tower before it is too late. Well, I'm afraid that's not gonna happen. So see, you can see Newgate Prison in the distance there. But I don't think you ever really get a full-on view of both towers. Which is a shame. That would be a good thumbnail. <laughs> um... I will try something, though. Yeah, okay, what I wanted to do did not work. I would have loved to get, like, an aerial view of Newgate Prison, but... Unfortunately, that's not gonna happen. Although... Hold on. Nope, never mind, I tried. I tried, it would have been a cool picture, but no. King's Isle. <laughs> Come on. I know for a fact that there is a version that can get pictures and videos further out. More cinematic angles. Because I've seen King's Isle use them before. And it's like, come on, guys. Um, any creators that want to make thumbnails, like if they're doing YouTube videos, they kind of, they might want to, you know, use it as a thumbnail. Um, use it for thumbnails because it'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Sorry, I had to be real careful with that one because they were awfully close to the edge there. Oh, there he is. Right there. I love how he just casually, like, walks. Oh, I gotta talk to this guy real quick. Oops. Oh, and here's the new gate prison cat. Now you know. I've seen him. 
Meowie Arnie's hot-footed across the rooftops to the right. After him! He looked more like he just kind of walked off and you didn't do anything. But sure. Like he seemed, he it seemed like he just sauntered off to me. I don't know, man. Do you want to catch me? <laughs> Ooh, this would be a good picture, actually. I don't know about that, friend. Yeah, I took a picture of Meowyardi. So what? I heard Meowyardi running across those rooftops. Talking to someone he was. Hurry and catch him. I'm just trying to figure out what to do for them now for this episode. Because this is literally just running around. And the only reason I'm even filming it is because it automatically triggers dialogue when you get close to an officer. Can't lose him. Try to stop him before he gets away. You've got him on the run. Pull him up this way. If he doubles back, I've got him. Do you though? Do you really? I don't think you do. <laughs> I see you didn't take to my soldier. Then let me introduce you to my good friend. I mean, is he a good friend, or are you just using him? Although both him and his brother are dramatic as fuck, did you see how he turned around? Like, dude. <laughs> For real? I can't believe my blooming eyes. Did you see that? He summoned undead, he did. Yes, Malister can do that. He is a death wizard. He must have had help of the magical sort. The sort you can handle a sight better than we. You did see a very tall man next to him named Malister, right? I'm not seeing shit. You saw that? You had to have seen that. Right? Come on. Come on, my guy. Really? There's an O'Leary hideout down the street. We haven't let on we know about it. Look for Meowie Artie there before we move someplace we don't know about. Well, um, might do that anyway. Cause y'all ain't doing shit, I am getting caught on a can. Y'all ain't doing shit, you're just letting him walk off. Like, I don't even see you guys try and move and stop the guy. You just, like, watch him run off with Malister. Like, hello? Do your job? You are police officers, right? Right? Anyway. I think we're fighting something in here. I think it's the Agony Wraith in here. No, it's Gibson O'Leary. My bad. Agony Wraith is at the other building. You'll never catch me out, Yachty. Are you from New York or Britain? Like, you sound like a newsie from New York. <laughs> Alright, friend, let's go. Like, obviously, this is meant to be like Victorian England, just the styles. Of these people and everything but like he sounded like from fucking have y'all seen the movie newsies the christian bale disney fucking movie that the musical he sounds like a newsie from newsies <laughs> Did I get- one of them must have- the Tomb Raider must have- or Tomb Roamer, not Tomb Raider. Tomb Roamer must have put a curse on me. Cause I looked up and I was like, what the fuck is floating around my feet? Well I'll do the same to you, bitch ass. 
I don't think that's going to help here, buddy, but I appreciate the thought. God, I, my hair is longer on the top than it is. what I need to do. Uh, but y'all don't see my face, so, like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but seriously, um, I need to, I need to take care of myself. <laughs> I really do. Um, so there's a real long period of silence, and that's because I got tagged in a post on Facebook and I read it. I didn't mean to be awkwardly silent for like a minute and a half. <laughs> Excuse me. The only- normally I'd be like really fucking tired by now, but I'm more awake probably because I took a nap earlier. Um. So... I don't have anything for this guy. Here. So yeah, I'm just kinda... I'm awake, but I'm also tired, if that makes sense. Like, I'm tired, but I'm also wide awake. Does that make sense? I don't think that makes sense, but I think y'all- I think y'all get me. That still did pretty good damage for a minus 25 and stuff, but hey. Uh, you know, I don't think he resists that much, and I do have a trap on him thanks to my pet, so maybe this will be fine. This- I wanted a specific style, and I sh tried to show the video to the lady who's gonna do my hair. She refused to look at it, so I'm like, alright, bitch. On me. I got three little ones at home. Meow Yardy just left. I'm telling you, you can still catch him. He said something about the old warehouse. Okay. Oh, I'm going this way. Oh, I got the Undead Stalker badge. Nice. Um, I will see you shortly. Actually, no, I think he's gonna do a hawk trigger thing here. Yeah. Why? You don't give up, do you? You need to learn when you can't win. Allow me to teach you why. Uh, no. I should have let that fully play through. Oh, I'm man. sorry. I saw him run inside the North Clock Tower. Capture him. Well, if you would do your job, I wouldn't have to be the one to catch him. Y'all don't know how to do your jobs, apparently. I grow weary of this game you insist on playing. I'm out of patience, but you're out of constables. Even if you survive, you won't be able to follow me. Cheerio. You don't know that. So there's the Agony Wreath. You're gonna have to fight him again when you get to Big Ben. But we're gonna bring Salvis to this. Um, what am I- how am I doing time-wise? 14 minutes, yeah. I'm- I'm good. I'm solid. I mean, the top of my hair that was longer is long enough to do like a tiny little ponytail thing. While the rest is down, but I miss the days when I was a child and my hair would go faster. Because, I told this story in a previous video, but you know, uh, if you're joining me for the first time here, I've got a playlist of Wizard of Little One videos if you'd like to catch up. Um, 
But okay, so I got my hair cut short back in March. So it's long-ish. Um, oh, I, I'd hardly say long-ish. It's still short, but it's longer than it was when I first got it cut, I will say. And this lady, I tried to show her the video of the hairstyle I wanted. She refused to watch the video. And so now I've decided to let my hair grow out a little bit. And it's at a weird spot. It's at a weird spot. It looks weird. It isn't the back, I should say. It's not long enough to put up in like a ponytail but the top is and I mostly have to have it down all the time still and it's just not a good time <laughs> it's in a very it's at a very awkward length right now so I'm just dealing with it My butt hurts. Does your butt hurt when you sit for over an hour? Or is that just me? That might just be me, let's be real. Um... It's a waste of the trap, but I'm not... I don't do something. Minus 25, sure, whatever. And this should be no issue, even with the resist in minus 25. I really need to do English. I really need to have a better sleep schedule so like I can get up at like 6 in the morning and film from 6 in the morning until whatever. And then I can do whatever I want afterwards. Also, <laughs> before I started filming, I just saw the most unhinged Jacksepticeye video. I love Jacksepticeye. Um, he's one of my favorite YouTubers. Uh, we're also birthday twins. <laughs> Uh, we share the same birthday, February 7th. He's just seven years older than me. Um. And. Uh, it was, so. First it was simply like, talking about like, you know, he's been on a break and everything. And people have been concerned or been like, it's alright, let him take a break. Are you? Saw Meowyarty with Malastare. By Jove, you've uncovered the power behind the O'Leary's gang. Finding Meowyarty will require footwork, but all of our detectives are tied up on other cases. Perhaps you can be of assistance. Jocks the Scratcher is ravaging Knight's Court, terrorizing the general public. You should speak to Sergeant Steve there and offer your assistance. Uh, where am I at time wise? Yeah, we can go do this. It doesn't take very long. Oh, and, um... I think there is another... Uh... Cat back here? Yes. That's Scotland Yard Roof Cat. Anyway. Yeah, I saw the most unhinged Jacksepticeye video, like, ever. Um, so, context. A while back... He's a good one, that Watson. Much obliged you could help with Jacques the Scratcher. We're sorely strapped when it comes to manpower. We've been scratching our heads over him for quite some time. <laughs> no pun intended, of course. Jacques the Scratcher's at it again, scratching fair maidens. If this reference isn't... Um, obvious, and they had to make it a little more subtle, subtle, because this is a family-friendly game. Uh, Jacques the Scratcher is a reference to Jack the Ripper, 
And scratching is, well, if you know, the story in the history of Jack the Ripper, you, you know what that is. Um, what that's supposed to be implying. My boys and I are baffled as to his whereabouts. But perhaps a young wizard like you can crack the case. I fear that Lady Milltop may have been attacked. Find out she's alright. Anyway, um... So... Help! I'm being scratched! My heavens, that's Lady Milltop. She's in danger. You must save her. Defeat Jacques before he strikes again. I'll round up my boys for backup. Good luck. So, a while back he did... Some sort of, like, funniest videos thing. Hey. Uh, it was like a funniest videos type thing, and there was an, you know those old silly infomercials? There was one for something called a slap chop, and he finally got one. To be scratched out of existence, wizard. Finally got one and just did the most unhinged shit I have ever seen, and it was great. Um... So he starts off like, welcome back to... Welcome back to my kitchen or whatever. In my house. Something like that. Um... How'd you guys get here? Like, play it up a little bit. Like, how'd you guys get here? And all this stuff. And then he slowly starts talking about like, you know, we're gonna try the slap chop and whatever. And... He does. And it slowly goes from, like, a normal, you know, a normal-ish video, I should say, to, uh, so <laughs> I kind of predicted this from the beginning, where it's like, uh, let's add the secret ingredient. And I was like, what, the blood of the innocent? <laughs> For all intents and purposes, this is a joke, by the way. And it was his coffee, actually, which I've never tried. I want to try it, but I haven't been able to buy it. If you want to buy me Jacksepticeye's coffee, no, I'm kidding. Um, but it went from, like, adding the coffee. So it started off with, like, normal shit you would put in a smoothie. Like carrots, spinach, berries, that sort of thing. Like those healthy smoothies that are probably not actually that great. <laughs> and... Then he added his coffee, which is a little strange. He, he used this other machine and was like, hmm, it could use something else. Something's missing. And he started saying, what you're gonna do is get a knife and add human blood to it, and I was like, I was waiting for this, I called this. <laughs> but it was his own blood instead of the blood of the innocents. So... But I thought it was hilarious. It was so weird. But he was also being like really introspective and rut and stuff about like... his 5,000 videos. 5,000 videos! Can you imagine 5,000 videos? I sure as hell can't. Like, the most videos I have uploaded is on my channel right now, which is like, counting this video, like, at least 20, if not more. Like, that is the most I have uploaded anything, anywhere, and I've tried to do YouTube stuff several times on an old account called Ghostaria, which I don't even remember the login information for anymore, or I would use that for these videos, because I had a pretty decent following on there for a while, um, but, you know, 
it was 5,000 videos, and he also reached 28 million subscribers. 28 million. Can you believe? That's wild. That's wild! I think I have like 10, actually, maybe a little more than that. Like, I don't... I can't even imagine those numbers. 5,000 videos and... 28,000 subscribers. Can you imagine that? Any of you out there? Because... Fuck, man. 48 subscribers and... Counting the ones that are scheduled to be uploaded soon over 20, but the ones that are currently on my channel are 15. My old Ghostaria channel. Let me find it here. Ghostaria. I had 48 or 47 subscribers and 18 videos. Now, that's videos that are just sitting on there because I haven't, you know, posted anything on there in seven years. <laughs> um, I had started a series on there called Alone at Last. It was an RPG Maker game. RPG Maker games were a huge thing when I was posting them. Let me check when this was... 2015. They were a huge, huge thing back then. Like 2012 to 2015 is when RPG Maker games were at their highest with like Eve and Al Oni and The Witch's House and things like that, which I might play on here. I might. I can run RPG Maker games. <laughs> But Alone at Last was, I think, some sort of zombie survival type of RPG Maker game. Um, I might have to find it again, actually. My description... Oh, I have a link to the game. In... My description. Well, shit. We might play that here. We might play that here. I only got like three episodes and then I stopped uploading on that channel and made a new one. <laughs> that old channel had its 10th anniversary last year. Let me check. Last year. Yeah, this one, on the other hand. Let me see here. I- this channel won't have its 10-year anniversary for another three years. And even then, I haven't been uploading that entire time. I've uploaded occasionally, like, just random sorts of uploaded stuff, and then I- deleted things because I was like this isn't working this isn't going well but that's because I didn't put in the work at the time uh, and I should have because you know maybe maybe things would have ended up differently for me maybe not but you know and it's the what ifs and stuff like yeah. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. I'm so sorry. I was talking about old videos. Old videos. Like... You always think about the what-ifs. You really do. But... I'm putting in the work now. It won't be so easy next time. I'm not finished with you yet. You're not done. Jacques the Scratcher staggers off and hisses. 
Um, oh, that could have been a good picture. I'm dumb. It's fine. You run into him again anyway. It's fine. Escaped? Goodness, not again. But don't despair. We'll track him down soon enough. If it weren't for his clever disguises, we'd have caught him long ago. I think... Spoiler alert, if you've never played this game before, I think it turns out Jacques the Scratcher is... actually Katzenstein? My boys are occupied with reports of deadly scratchings. No doubt the work of Jacques the Scratcher and his ruffians... See what you can do to dispose of these deadly scratches. Um, you know, and you think about the what ifs, everyone thinks about the what ifs, but you know, you can't let those stop you, you can't let those hold you back, as I've learned over the years. It's just not, not ideal to, you know. Constantly think on those things, but I'm putting in the work now. I have filmed so many hours of this game. <laughs> and so, you know, it really, it really is, you know, something I'm interested in, and I'm actually putting in the work because I actually have time to put in the work now. Over the years, when trying to do this, you know, YouTube stuff and streaming stuff, I have either not had time for one reason or another, or I just haven't been motivated, and you've gotta, if you're not feeling motivated, especially with something like this, it's okay to take a break sometimes, but when you're just starting out, it's honestly best to like push through, make yourself do the thing, uh, as I've learned myself. They're not dead. Okay. That's unfortunate. I was hoping it would hit- I was hoping it would kill him because it's a boost to them, but I guess not. Oh no. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought. I don't have- I mean, am I gonna live two more rounds though? Probably not. We're gonna- Get our healing friend here. <laughs> um, so I'm putting in the work now, and am I fully proud of this? A little, actually, yeah, because I have counting the ones that are still like, that are scheduled and won't be uploaded until the next following days. I have recorded so much, specifically of Wizard 101. Um, I could go into the videos. Not on this. I would need to go into the Creator Studio, actually. I go into... The Creator Studio. Let me do this real quick. As we're waiting on this. Uh, I don't have anything to do here. I'm wasting a blade on a wand hit. I have, counting the stuff that has not been uploaded yet, and what I'm recording right now, 16 parts to Wizard 101. 16 parts! 
I have never in my life ever gotten to 16 parts of anything. Anything. Minecraft isn't as uh, good track wise. Um, I got four episodes of that, and I was trying to find another fortress, I think is the structure, and I couldn't find one. I had the worst time trying to find one, and eventually, I think I took out Better End and Better Nether because I thought maybe that was doing it, and I will see if it is the case. But, who knows, you know? I am sitting here just passing and my minion is doing all of the work, her henchman, because I haven't gotten anything good. <laughs> yeah. But like, we're probably close to like halfway done with Marleybone now because I've just been consistently like doing things I will do this one last fight and then I will see you when I'm done okay I'm done with the fight and here's the Knight's Court cat and now we are gonna go back to Sergeant Stieg right down here Hey, bud. Brilliant. Our reports of spatchings have lessened considerably. My thanks to you, young wizard. I'm truly impressed. Now that the deadly scratchings have lessened, let's look to the case. I see Lady Dalton reported an incident last night. Talk to her. See what she knows about Jacques the Scratcher. Uh, I'm gonna pause until we get to her place. Alright. Hello, ma'am. was Jacques the Scratcher was such a horrid experience. All I recall is that he carried a black bag. Alright, back to Star yeah, back to Sergeant Steve. Alright. Hello. Excellent work, young wizard. Our first clue. We've yet to locate Jacques the Scratcher. We need more clues. Lady Brooks reported a scratcher not too long ago. She's standing nearby. Go talk to the young lady and ask her what she remembers. Level. All right, we're not gonna walk there. There's a teleporter here, and then there's a teleporter directly to Amy Brooks. Hey, ma'am, how you doing? I came home one night and Jacques the Scratcher attacked me. I've been scared to go back ever since. Please, young wizard, do what you can to stop his awful scratchings. I want you to ask the constables to come and make sure my place is safe. I loaned Catherine my new spring hat, and I'm going to need no. it for the policeman's ball. I'm scared to wander the streets these days. Would you mind fetching it for me? I'm good, ma'am. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, bud. How you doing? Oh, dear. How terrible. Shark and his ruffians are more active than I expected. Thanks, young wizard. Your input's been invaluable. My boys and I are still dealing with that prison break. We haven't the time to follow up with Lady Brooks's request. Can you comfort her by searching her place and making sure it's safe? Mind you, her place is in a clock tower, so you can't miss it. She's gonna have a lot of money if she lives in a clock tower. Are you shitting me? Alright, in we go. I think this is where you fight him a second time. I hope so, because I would like to get a picture of him. A wizard? Get those nope. scratchers. That was a terrible zoom in, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I should have gotten it when we were fighting him in the first place. Oh well. I'll figure something out with this. Maybe I'll get a picture of Sergeant Stieg or something.
But yeah, I think... See, I forgot Game Jolt even existed until I looked at the description of that video. That old ass video from 2015. <laughs> um, so we might play it. We might play it alone at last. I played a little bit of it seven years ago. Uh, but I don't remember a damn thing from it. I don't- I didn't even know Game Jolt still fucking existed. Like, not even joking. Because everyone uses, like, itch.io or something now for games. And I'm like, does Game Jolt not exist anymore? Like, what- what's going on here? It has- hold on, I'm going to go back to that video and find out if it's still on there. Still. Oops, wrong thing. I hit the wrong thing. Oh, I... I need to go to the first part. Uh, okay. What are we doing here? It still exists. It still exists. Wow. And I think my video is actually on their page. That's fucking nuts. Uh, I'm gonna heal. No fucking way! I didn't even notice that! All those years ago. <laughs> I wonder if he still is active on that page. Because I was like, I recognize that thumbnail. That's my thumbnail from when I did this. Because it's a real shitty... <laughs> real shitty image of a backpack that I did in Paint Tool Sai. <laughs> Man! Oh, I, like I said, I wonder if he's still active on the page, because if so, I can play it again and be like, What's up, bro? <laughs> it's me, Ghostaria. I have a new channel now, and I'm playing it on my new channel. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> That's crazy! I was wondering why those videos had so many fucking views, that's why. He put it on his actual Game Jolt page. Man. Man. That's crazy. Am I gonna live for this Humongo Frog to work? Probably not. We're doing it anyway. But the game still exists, so like... I wonder what else is on Game Jolt. Do people still post on Game Jolt anymore? That fizzled. Son of a bitch. Okay. We're pulling out the big guns here. I am almost dead. <laughs> uh, I don't have my attack all anymore. You know what? Maybe we'll maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll play it. We'll see. We'll see. I just need to email it to myself. Which I have just done. That's nuts, bro. I recognized the thumbnail on the page. Dude. That's sick. Yeah, do, do people still post on Game Jolt? Is that a thing? Yeah. And they have an app now. Huh. Wow. Yeah. 
If I hit store... Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff still on here. Wow! Maybe I will fuck around on there. Maybe I will. There's gotta be some interesting games on here. Oh, some of the real old... <laughs> Some of the real bad thumbnails. That's funny. Uh, okay. Where are all of my attack cards? Holy shit. This is fucking nuts. Okay. Nuck and futs. Mon cage? What the hell is that? Vignette puzzle adventure. I think PC and mobile on the 16th. Damn. There, holy shit. I was like, come on, give me something. Game Jolt has definitely changed in the last seven years, that's for fucking sure. Freeborn, what a plant. <laughs> I'm over here looking for other games, like... I mean, why not? You know? Visual knowledge, adventure about mercial friendships, card draws, and psychological chaos. Sacre bleu, we have been discovered! Hmm, the master told us we cannot be found. It seems we must be sure you will tell no one about us, wizard. You find a crumpled glove with the initials XX on the floor. Okay. Dude's done for. I'm gonna leave. And go back to Sergeant Stieg. I'll be with you in a moment. Alright, there we go. A glove with the initials XX. Oh, your sleuthing skills are astounding. This may be the evidence we need to crack the case. We're puzzled as to the meaning of all these clues. Old Craig cannot consult it, but he's off duty now. He's a regular at Mr. Burt's Bones and Biscuits in Regent Square. Find him there and see if he's willing to help us. Alright, we're gonna mark this spot here. And I will see you when we get to Angus Crankenhop. Alright, in we go. What's up, friend? Ah, oh, Steve sent you. An old copper like me could use some excitement. Well, do I have some for you? And I don't mean like that. Mm, glove with X, X. Nice coat. And a black bag. Mm-hmm. Exactly. He must be a doctor with initials X, X who lives in Knight's Court. No shit. Is that all you're giving me? All right, buddy. Back to search and see it go. We go. Blue. English. Hey, friend. That cranking off, he's got it. Hmm. Dr. Xavier Zandros lives in the Knight's Tower. That's near Knight's Court. Great work, young wizard. We'll be sure to investigate this doctor. We've checked all the clues and they all add up. Dr. Xavier Zandros is shot the scratcher. Yes. He's up ahead in Knight's Tower. You've proved your mettle. Hurry there and defeat him before he menaces another lady. Okay, so we do get to fight him again. I was like, come on. We've got to be able to. So I was wrong. He is not Katzenstein. Or he might be. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, let's go in. Can't believe you found me. 
doesn't matter. You'll soon be my next victim. I don't know about that. Okay, that one was good. I got a good angle on that one. That was a very neat angle. Uh, a Lightroom is going to have a fun time automatically straightening that. I might not do that on this one. Just because the angle looks cool and trying to straighten it out is just not going to work in Lightroom. I usually do auto settings or something in Lightroom to make the images a little bit brighter. Because, let's face it, especially... Especially Marley Bone, it's pretty fucking dark, like looks wise, which is why I had shaders ages ago, so I could make everything a little bit more vibrant, a little brighter, because it's just the regular. But the regular game looks fine as is, but when you enhance like the vibrancy and everything, it looks so. Much better, and like adding extra little reflection stuff. Ugh. Oh. Ugh, oh, I might need to re add shaders. But I don't know if my computer would be able to handle it. <laughs> while recording, I should say. Specifically, while I'm recording as well. Um. God, there's so many games. There are so many games, just in general, but like. I would like free games. I think you can specify free games or name your price games. Price, free slash name your price. Sister's Journey. That sounds interesting. What's it about? A Sister's Journey wish list now on Steam. Um. Maybe. We'll see. About the game. A sister's journey is a challenging, fast-paced action metro Metroidvania in a lovingly created and hand-drawn pixel art world. Experience a packed story full of dangers, secrets, and mysteries. Follow Violet on her adventure trying to find Reyna, her beloved sister. Yada yada yada. Um... Here's the thing. So, I don't know if the creator of A Sister's Journey has siblings. Because let me tell ya. I saw the most accurate representation of siblings on a movie on my mom's TV. Recently. And it was... It was like this little- this dude walked in with- this like teenager walked in with his girlfriend or something. And... I forgot the girlfriend's name. Um... But the little sister was like, Ooh, Reyna, or whatever the fuck the uh, girlfriend's name was. I just used Reyna because that's the name I just last saw. Uh, and the brother was like, Ooh, shut up! Like... Ew, shut up, or something like that. And I was like, that, that is an accurate representation of siblings. <laughs> that is absolutely an exact representation of siblings. That is... <laughs> you can tell when a writer of like a movie or a show or something does not have siblings, or of an episode of a show does not have siblings, because the siblings are loving and caring to each other, and it's like, no, bitch. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not... That's not... How siblings are, trust me. <laughs> I have two older sisters. Um, another MMORPG, we're playing one with Wizard101, so no... There's... A few games on Game Jolt. I didn't even know it still existed, but I guess it does. Nobody talks about Game Jolt anymore, though, so like... Why, though? <laughs> it seems like people are still uploading games to the website. So, like, 
Why? <laughs> Why is no one... Why is no one getting games? Why is no one downloading from the website? Because I feel like, with it being as active as it still is, they definitely should be. Hey, I just killed him. Let's go. Oh, it was... I was looking at my phone, and I, the only reason I knew Jacques the Scratch was dying was because I heard him. But I didn't realize Rebirth, or whatever the hell that card was called, was being used. I had to look up, because I heard a weird sound. Uh, I don't have shit. Still don't have shit. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna take care of him. It's fine. There's a lot happening on this website. Hey, we done. Is he gonna do a no? Okay. Well, we're going back to Sergeant Stieg. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, we're back. Let's go. Yes. We could use a wizard like you on our force. No. We couldn't have gotten Jacques the Scratcher without you. Let Watson know how you finish off Jacques the Scratcher. He'll be waiting for you on the Scotland Yard route. All right, we're gonna go talk to Watson, and then we'll end it, I suppose. I was a little worried for a second there. I was like, don't crash on me. Please. Hey, Watson. Good to know our fair ladies need not fear Jacques the Scratcher anymore. With the Jacques the Scratcher case solved, thanks to you, our detectives have uncovered the scientists behind these metal men. There we go. See in Dr. Ketzenstein's lab. Perhaps we'll find out more about the clockworks and the connection to Miyawiati. As of now, we are almost done with Marley Bone. So, in that case, I will see you all next time, and we will do Katzenstein's Lab. So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button, as well as the bell icon to get notified when I post. I have a couple of links if you'd like to support me in any way, shape, or form. One is PayPal for a one-time donation directly to me. The other is Kofi or Coffee, not sure how it's pronounced, which can be a monthly, reoccurring, or one-time donation of $3. I also have an Amazon wishlist that has a few items on it that would make creating videos for you all easier. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.